NASA is shooting for the moon with 6,000 pound bullets. You don't worry that someone might interpret this as some act of hostility? I'm hoping E.T. doesn't phone home. What's fueling the space age smackdown and how you can see it? It'd be very cool. This Friday morning, NASA launches an attack on the moon's surface with a rocket and then a doomed satellite. The lunar assault isn't some form of celestial space war, rather a high-tech search for water. And there is one place in Spokane you'll want to be to see it. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live with a look at the L Cross mission. Jeff? Robin, you know, it's been 10 years since the U.S. parked something out there on the moon, although this mission is really more like a pair of well-planned crashes. The target is an existing crater on the moon's south pole, right about at the 7 o'clock position. If all goes well, the mission will turn up signs of water on the moon and open up the door to future space exploration. Last June, an Atlas V blasted a pair of satellites into space and eventually toward the moon. On Friday morning, the now empty booster rocket assumes its new role of acting like an artillery shell. The Centaur weighs about as much as a full-size SUV and on command will slam into the lunar surface in a cosmic crash. With this 6,000-pound rocket body coming at you at 6,000 miles an hour, there's going to be a fairly substantial impact and a lot of energy released like that. When the Centaur hits, the impact is going to add a small crater to the moon's surface, but at the same time, dislodge about 350 tons of lunar landscape out into space. About four minutes later, the shepherding spacecraft is going to fly into that plume of ejected material and test it for the presence of water. They're going to look at what this plume is made of, and then there's some infrared cameras on board that's also going to tell us kind of what this is made of, but also quantities of what is in this plume. Up until now, astronauts have only scratched the moon's surface when it comes to digging. However, the centaur should auger in about 12 feet deep, and the prospect of finding water should be pretty good, given that NASA has targeted a shady crater on the lunar south pole. As asteroids impact the surface, water is deposited in, in these craters and then covered with soil. And so in these craters, there may be fairly substantial quantities of water ice. Finding water on the moon would be a big deal because you can make rocket fuel out of it. The space shuttle uses a combination of hydrogen and oxygen during liftoff. Future space colonies would welcome a fresh glass of lunar water because right now our astronauts are being forced to drink their own recycled urine. If they don't have to take some of their water with them, if they can uh, mine it, uh, from the surface, that reduces the amount of weight that they're going to be flying to the moon and then put other things on there or use a smaller rocket. Now this big bang on the moon happens early Friday morning at 4.31 a.m. and Spokane resident and NASA Ambassador Joe Bruce wants you to be able to see it through one of his telescopes. You'll find him at the Hamlin Park Presbyterian Church at Crestline in Thurston up on the South Hill. We'll have a crew there as well and have updates for you on Good Morning Northwest here on KXLY4.